Hi, I'm David Crum. I'm the founding editor of Read the Spirit magazine and Front Edge Publishing, and I'm also a fifth generation United Methodist. So I'm well aware that in coming months, thousands of congregations across America, and that means millions of families in millions of homes, are going to be talking about gender and inclusion uh, because of the historic vote that was taken in St. Louis. Um, what families are going to need and what congregations are going to need are some solid resources that can help them through these discussions. Our publishing house, since its founding in 2007, has been committed to celebrating diversity, to encouraging inclusion, and to share uh, the really rich stories of many different minorities, ethnic minorities, religious minorities, and gender minorities. We've got some substantial resources that can help. The first book we published is a letter to my congregation, and this is a really um, fascinating look at one pastor's uh, letter to his congregation that helped his congregation to move toward inclusion. It's written by Ken Wilson. Then Ken and his co-author Emily Swan went on and produced this, Solus Jesus. This is a much more substantial look at the theological background of inclusion. If you're talking about this issue and you're looking for ways forward in a Christian context, one of the strengths of this book is that this comes from evangelicals with a very strong view of scripture, and it moves toward inclusion. Now, the landmark book that we published is Dr. David Gushy's Changing Our Mind. Uh, Dr. David Gushy is an internationally known figure. He's the head of the American Academy of Religion, uh, the current head of the American Society of Christian Ethicists. His Changing Our Mind has been used around the world by congregations uh, wrestling with these issues. Now, if you want to look at what uh, a group of churches that reorganize themselves to be fully inclusive looks like, uh, read Blue Ocean Faith. There is some discussion, even among United Methodists today, that new groups of churches may form. Well, this is what it looks like as one particular group of churches did that. Then we produce two uh, secular books that are very substantial looks at the complex array of subjects that you're going to be talking about. Uh, these are published with the Michigan State University School of Journalism. Uh, fairness, accuracy, balance are the goals of the School of Journalism. These books are peer-reviewed by Blue Ribbon panels of experts, and we've divided it into two uh, uh, volumes, questions and answers about sexual orientation and questions and answers about gender identity. Uh, we offer these books to you because we know many people are going to be talking about this. You need substantial, balanced resources, and we're happy to help as so many of uh, our families discuss this in coming months. Thank you so much. There's a direct link in the description area of this YouTube video so that you can click it and go right to a page and read the spirit where we have all these six books listed with easy links to order them in all formats that you might want, including ebooks.